Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. We're here today talking about one of my favorite, favorite things, crab cakes. Oh, mine too. So, mom, let's get started and preheat our oven to 450. One great thing about crab is that it has so much protein in it. All shellfish contain psyllium, but crab cakes are particularly rich in it. Psyllium plays a key role in the human's antioxidant defense system. Watch it now, watch it. Mm. You know, it's super cool because it prevents damage to cells and tissues. All right, let's get started preparing our crab cakes. Yes. Now this recipe has no mayo in it, so it doesn't have as many fillers as you typically would see in a crab cake recipe. Mm -hmm. But that way, the true crab flavor comes through. Flavorama, flavorama. <laughs> <laughs> let's get started. Okay, in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna combine your eggs, mustard, Old Bay, paprika, Worcestershire sauce, and your breadcrumbs here. You're gonna add your crab last, okay? All right, now that we've taken our crab cake mixture out of the refrigerator, we're ready to get these loaded on our cooking sheet. Make those patties. All right, so I'm using, just for ease and equal distribution of my cakes, mm -hmm. I'm using a one half cup. We're just simply going to scoop it in there and we're going to cook these for 20 to 30 minutes. All right, let's pop these in the oven. All right, now that we have our delicious crab cakes out of the oven, let's get these plated and finish it out. Yes, Mom. We have a wonderful, easy tartar sauce, and then we have a wonderful, little bit of kick to it, Cajun crab sauce. That sounds perfect. And there you have it more healthy, flavorful, fun recipes from the Berry Girls. And when you try these at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Berry Girls out. <laughs>